My review for Wonder Woman finally got online last night, you can check that out up over here. But there was another superhero movie that was released this weekend. Let's talk about that one too. Tra la la! George Beard and Harold Hutchins are two overly imaginative pranksters who spend hours in a treehouse creating comic books. When their mean principal threatens to separate them into different classes, the mischievous boys accidentally hypnotize him into thinking that he's a ridiculously enthusiastic, incredibly dim-witted superhero named Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, stars the voice talent of Kevin Hart, Ed Helms, Nick Krull, Thomas Middleditch, Jordan Peele, and Kristen Schaal. It is rated PG for mild rude humor throughout. So Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, is based on a series of children's books by Dave Pilkey and tells the story of two best friends who are always telling jokes, pulling pranks, and writing their own comic books. The principal threatens to separate them and put them in different classes, which devastates Harold and George's world, so they hypnotize him into becoming their comic book creation, Captain Underpants. I had no idea what to expect going into Captain Underpants because I never read the books and I think I may have seen one trailer, but that was about it. I went in hoping for just a fun kids movie and that is exactly what I got. It isn't a Disney Pixar movie or even up to the level of like a Despicable Me or a Shrek movie, but there's still plenty here to enjoy. The animation style reminded me quite a bit of the Peanuts movie from a year or two ago, but that's pretty much where the similarities end. Whereas Peanuts was just a nice, fun, innocent movie, Captain Underpants pushes almost all the, all the right comedy buttons in a very elementary school boy humor type of way. There is a lot of juvenile bathroom humor, which is to be expected from a movie called Captain Underpants, but there were also quite a few jokes that were aimed squarely for us adults as well. And maybe I really am still 12 years old, but I laughed way harder than a 40 year old man should have. All the voice actors do a good job, but the standout to me had to be Jordan Peele as the nerdy kid Melvin. I actually had no idea that it was him until the end credits. The voice that he used was awesome. And for those of you who don't know, Jordan Peele is a black comedian most well known as half of the comedy duo Key and Peele. He also directed this year's Get Out, which is a very racially charged social commentary, semi-horror thriller kind of film. But to think that this guy is playing a white, nerdy 8 year old, it was just perfect. The movie is very self aware, and I really liked how the characters of George and Harold often break the fourth wall, or make comments about how ridiculous some of the things that are happening are. Or at one point they complain that special effects in movies are too expensive, so they do a flipbook animation style instead. I really appreciated that self-awareness and the fact that the movie knows that it is ridiculous and can have fun with it. The humor is really quick and snappy and fast-paced. In that regard, it almost reminds me of the Lego movie or the Lego Batman movie. They don't wait for one joke to land and the laughs to die down before launching into another joke. They just keep on going. As far as the negatives go, the pacing is a little uneven in the second act. Like, you're not exactly sure where this is going. And sometimes the potty jokes do get a little bit excessive. But come on, it's a movie called Captain Underpants. You should expect that going in. And really, those are the only negatives that I can think of. I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed this movie. The movie does set itself up for sequels, and there's certainly enough source material to draw from. And actually, I wouldn't mind seeing a second Captain Underpants movie. Overall, I thought it was really cute, and I did have a good time with it. I'm going to give Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, a 3 out of 5. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. You certainly need to appreciate the sort of low-brow juvenile bathroom humor, but as long as you open yourself up to that and don't expect much sophistication from this movie, I think you're going to have a good time, and I think that most kids will be very entertained by this movie. If you want to catch up on the source material, I will leave links to purchase all the Captain Underpants books in the description. Those are my Amazon affiliate links. You'll be taken to Amazon.com where you can buy those books or anything else, and I get a small commission. It does not cost you anything extra, but I truly appreciate the support. So those are my thoughts on Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Have you seen it yet? If so, what did you think? Sound off in the comments down below. You guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I truly appreciate it. 
If you like this video, then please click the thumbs up button and share with other movie lovers. And make sure that you also subscribe to my channel because I do movie reviews, trailer reaction videos, box office predictions, and so much more. Basically, I just love talking movies and I would love to have you join in the conversation. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I will see you at the movies. Tra la la!